Double, we could discover right here in the great state of Iowa. Every Thursday, we love checking in with Catch Des Moines, who always has positive things to support our local businesses. And we continue on with that this morning. We do have Brock Conrad joining us, along with Tiffany Benke from the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. So thank you both for joining us today. Uh, Brock, yesterday we saw on social media, Catch Des Moines uh, put out a pledge uh, that for our local businesses and something new, a kind of an initiative to bring awareness around our area. Can you tell us a little bit about about that this morning. Yeah, absolutely. So this week we launched the Stay Safe Pledge in collaboration with the Greater Des Moines Partnership, Polk County, uh, the Iowa Restaurant Association, and the Iowa Lodging Association. Uh, the pledge essentially asked businesses and the public to show their commitment to remaining healthy and safe during the pandemic uh, by just, just taking the necessary steps such as wellness screenings, face coverings, and social distancing. Um, although the hospitality partners are kind of top of mind, um, all businesses are encouraged to take the pledge. Uh, participating businesses have access to uh, digital and print collateral that we created for them uh, that allows them to display their commitment, uh, including window flyers and social media and web graphics. Uh, so they're able to display those in their places of business and on their social media and on their websites. Uh, businesses and, and, and Greater Des Moines residents are encouraged to help get the word out if that's possible, um, if they would uh, be also kind to do so um, by just using the graphics on social media and then also using the hashtags uh, Stay Safe Pledge and DSM Local. So it's a little bit of a kind of a spinoff of the DSM Local that we did at the beginning of this pandemic that was uh, really well received and kind of helping local businesses. And so this is kind of an offshoot of that and a way to kind of help um, get people uh, on the same page as far as what to what to do and how to stay safe. Absolutely. We want to remind everybody to support local as much as they possibly can, but we also want to make sure we're feeling and staying safe at the same time. Uh, let's quickly talk about some great events that people still can catch in Des Moines. Yeah. So if you want to start your holiday shopping, you can do so with Chris Kendall Markets uh, CDM curbside uh, featuring an online marketplace that's open now through November 23rd. Uh, vendors will have, uh, they'll offer unique European holiday wares and edibles from uh, baked goods to glue vine to handcrafted nutcrackers and beer signs. So a lot of different great uh, unique things. Um, and after ordering online, customers can choose a pickup time at Principal Park downtown uh, between December 3rd and December 6th. Yeah, and then uh, also we have, you can catch Junk Jubilee Jingles this weekend, Friday through Sunday at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Uh, you can hunt for one-of-a-kind whimsical gifts from expert crafters and antique vendors. Uh, parking for that event is free, mask and social, distance, social distancing are required, and uh, daily admission for that is only $8. And then lastly, we have the, uh, everybody loves this one. Uh, the holiday promenade returns to the historic East Village for the 19th year. So you can enjoy holiday cheer, merriment uh, there uh, more than ever before as the traditional activities are spaced uh, actually over six weeks this year. Uh, festivities include holiday activities on Sundays, uh, special deals and delights in stores on Wednesdays uh, now through December. And it's just a great way where you can enjoy shopping and dining and all the holiday lights uh, for the 12 days of promenade. Um, and one kind of cool thing with that this year also is that the 12 days of promenade begins this Sunday with a scavenger hunt. And participants who find all 12 days signs and store windows will uh, win a special prize. So kind of a cool thing this year, a little, little different this year. Yeah, mixing it up a little bit, getting everyone getting the holiday spirit to put a smile on their face. And Tiffany, people uh, need to check out Urbandale as well. What, do you, what is the chamber doing to really highlight the local businesses in the, in the Urbandale area? Absolutely. So we have Sample Urbandale, a celebration of business. And this is something we've done every single year. However, this year it's going to be virtual. And we have um, Jason Parkin, who is going to be our uh, host for the evening. But what's even more important, not only are we celebrating businesses, we're celebrating our business of the year, our citizen of the year, which happens to be our very own mayor, Bob Andwig. Um, we're, we have our business of the year and then 21 different um, best in class. But what's fun is we were able to incorporate in and work with our local restaurants. And so a big part of this event in the past was sampling local food. And this year, um, what we're doing is everyone who re uh, purchases a ticket for the virtual event 
will receive a packet of gift cards, um, over $80 worth of gift cards to local restaurants so they can still uh, sample their, their, um, their menu items. Everything from a $10 gift card to Wine Styles in Johnston, $10 gift card to Urban Grill, um, Big L's Barbecue in Adel, Borden Arrow's Pizza, Protein House, um, we even have some mustard. So it's a lot of fun. It's a great way for us to encourage people to get, get back into these restaurants, whether they're just picking up um, and taking it home to, to, say stay, to say stay safe um, or uh, just supporting our restaurants who need it uh, very much right now. Absolutely. Well, you had me at Jason Parkin, so I might just have to tune in and watch and talk about incredible deals. So how do we get those tickets? How can we get involved, Tiffany? Absolutely. So if you go to the Chamber's website, which is uniquelyurbandale.com, um, you can pick up a ticket there or you can just give the Chamber a call. And that number is 515-331-6855. Uh, all right. Absolutely fabulous. Thank you, Tiffany, for everything you're doing in the Urbandale area. And Brock, of course, always talking about positive things that are happening in our community. Again, with that pledge of staying safe. If people want more details on everything we talked about today, where should they go? Eshtemoyne.com. Boom. Just like that. Thank you both for joining us today. Uh, we will see you again very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you.